Hey, what is going on everyone? JB here with another political video and today we're going to be talking about Trump and Kristi Noem, who is the governor of South Dakota, basically about how she's now endorsing Trump. This means going forward for Republicans and conservatives and the, the right in America, as well as my thoughts on the matter. So I will be pretty upfront with my biases in this when I start the video, but I do want to say before I do that, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps with the algorithm on the channel. I appreciate it. So I voted for Trump in 2020. I will not vote for Trump in any more other election ever again. I think he's a horrendous person, bad at politics. He didn't really get much done, even though he said he wanted all these things done. He didn't really get much actually passed that he wanted to get done. Um, you know, he, he's been cry, crying about losing the election for a long time, as well as the fact that he's just done so many crimes. I don't, I don't think he's the person that we should be pushing forward for Republicans left, sorry, Republicans right leaning people or conservatives at all. Okay. I think it's just going to make the left all come together cohesively against the right. And it's going to, you know, we're going to get the same thing that happened in the last election where Biden won, right? Um, so uh, going on specifically to the situation, I've covered my biases. Uh, Christy Noem is a pretty, you know, she's she's pretty well liked in South Dakota, right? 61% approval rating, uh, just approval rate of 37%, right? Ten, makes her about the 10th most popular state governor in America. So it's not, not nothing to scoff at, but this is what I'm, was waiting for we're starting to see people start to flip, like the the party lines are getting drawn are you a trump republican or are you a you know a, like the old republican guard are you like the old guard or are you the new guard right figuring out where you stand are you going to be going into trump we saw that with um i'm forgetting his name the guy that switched with the v for his name um between the i'm forgetting his name already oh my gosh um if I remember, I'll say it at the end of the video, but we saw he's like a Trump, but less charismatic and he can't take, he can't like take a punch, right? He just could not, the one thing Trump is really good is he's really good at charisma. This guy doesn't have it. Um, I already forgot his name is because he has lacks so much charisma. Um, but yeah, it's basically Christy Noam of South Dakota will endorse former president Donald Trump in the GOP presidential primary and campaign rally in her home state on Friday. She, uh, you know, was once a possible 2024 contender herself. I, I don't really think she was. I don't think someone from South Dakota is really, really going to boost that much, but I, I haven't heard much about her. Um, she was going to be yeah, introducing him and uh, fundraising him, right? So the former GOP governor has been floated as a possible Trump running mate. It'd be interesting. I, I don't know if I'd see that happening. Maybe. I don't, again, I want to see how things go in the next like, couple of months, but... Um, I definitely don't think he's going with Pence again. Pence is trying his best to damn this to distance himself from Trump, as he probably should be doing if he wants anything. Um, he, he, I will say, Pence. You know, I don't love all of his thoughts on stuff, but he he seems the most presidential. If you look at him, like, look at what presidents have been, he's the most presidential acting, right? She said, "Our country is breaking right now in our front of our very eye, own eyes, and everybody should be a uh, should." She said, everybody should be a part of putting it back on its foundation. And if President Trump is going to be back in the White House, I do all I can to help it be successful. And that's terrifying. I do not want Trump anywhere near the White House. I don't want him there at all. He's done so many things that are part of this country. I just don't think he's the one to go. I'll be very honest. I'm still firmly on the right. Obviously, my, my beliefs, if you look at my channel over the last couple of years... Uh, I've got more centered on certain things, a little bit more left on certain things, but I'm here to tell you my opinion, right? Where I think that, I, like, you know, where I'm coming from. I'm still pretty right on most topics. I just wanted to say that I don't think this is the right way to go for the right, and this is not the right way to go for America. So I don't think we should vote for Trump. I know a lot of, whenever I make videos against Trump, people uh, in the comments get kind of pissed. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of how it is, you know? Uh, if you support Trump, uh, you know, let, let me know why, and I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Um, but I don't think he's he's the way to go. I don't think he's the the future of America in any good way, right? And, and the the main thing I just have to say is, if you if you do like Trump and you do support him, look at how he the thing he's he's a whiner. He just says he's why. If you take take away everything he's actually done that's like bad, like legally, if you look at what his response to um, losing the election has been, he's just been like fraud, 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 you know, even after all the, like, if you look, look back when, um, Giuliani was like saying all these things and then Giuliani, when he was on, you know, he was put in front of the, the actual courtroom. He said, they said very different things, right? If you haven't seen heard, uh, Trump saying we need doing the call, trying to get a few extra votes, right? We need X amount more votes, right? Things like that. Things like when he's talking to people um, about how, you know, when I was president, if I was president, I could have declassified all these, but I can't now, blah, blah, blah. All these things about having all these files, right? And all these, this information. 
it's all these things that he's done that are wrong that should just pretty much they, they shouldn't disqualify him from being president like legally but morally and ethically they should if as, as a person you should feel that way is how i am at the point of right now but yeah it's my kind of thoughts on this let me know what you guys think and if you guys go through my channel you'll see i'm a i was a diehard trump supporter okay you'll see that you'll you'll see the stuff okay i full on got the hats and a curve bird cut out okay i was i was full on you know bleed bleeding the trump but i i've as you can tell i've switched my my thoughts now so this is my kind of thoughts on this again let me know what you guys think down below i was a little bit inflammatory with this but i had fun with it so i hope you guys did enjoy I think I might have talked a little bit too fast in this, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.